The Grow Place Gathering really consolidated a community of practice with the community champions around Europe. A community of practice enables us to go further than just a network. It enables relationship building and connection. It empowers um, the champions to share problems and co-create solutions. And it really allows us to co-create knowledge. A great moment for the Grow Observatory that we have all of you here. We have uh, representatives from Portugal, from Luxembourg, from Scotland, from Ireland, from Austria, from Greece. So far we have installed several hundreds of soil moisture sensors around Europe just because of you, our community champions. This is an opportunity for all of us to find ways how we can ramp up our activity and how we can work together to deliver ambitious goals. It's so exciting to meet the other community champions and to exchange about challenges and, and, and also about solutions they have and we can even share our materials and, and it's a great help for me, I think, in the future. The project itself is demonstrating the concept to sit in the observatory involving sensors and different observations through the pipeline of data, the engagement and empowerment of citizens, the deployment of sensors, and the understanding and actioning and changes of practice. I feel very lucky that soil scientists came to dig a soil profile on the land that I'm using for growing vegetables. And I remember telling one of them, I'd love to see what you can see through your eyes at the moment. I learned a great deal about how the soil over time was built, so historically how soil is building, and what we can do to improve it. All kind of uh, soil moisture movement and soil solution movements happens in the cracks, in the soil pores. And then you dissolve something and later precipitate it, evaporate it in the deeper horizons. It's going to happen on the surface of the structural element. Soil moisture affects the vegetation growth and therefore also the crop productivity, but that's not the only reason. Soil moisture also impacts the climate. At this point, the in-situ sensor come into play because what we can do is then taking the soil moisture that is estimated by satellite and taking the measurements recorded from your sensors and then compare. That's what attracted me first. It's kind of like you go to the doctor, they take your pulse, they take your temperature, they take your blood pressure. They, you have sensors in different parts of the body and I think that we have to look at our farms the same way. There is the Flower Power app that you use with your sensor to install the sensor and to gather the sensor data. And then there is the Grow Observatory app with which you collect the land survey data, the land features around the sensor. And then whenever or if ever you do stuff around the sensors. One of the things that uh, is incredibly important, of course, is empowering people education, how do we go about this, capacity building, bringing, giving the skills to people and learning the skills ourselves and having a kind of social innovation around this type of activity. I feel that I'm going to be able to take home uh, a lot more knowledge and understanding of the Grow Observatory project um, which will help me talk to more people who can then get a better understanding of soil and help with their own personal contribution. Most of the documents and informations are given, so we have a really good support. There's a wealth of knowledge out there and there's an absolute desire and a determination to improve things, to get the message out across Europe and to get more people recruited to understand the real issues behind the climate change and what improvements we as growers and farmers can make in our soil. Besides that, I'm very inspired to inspire others on citizen science.